this so office right there, dude. What is up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we are here at the original Gun Squad garage, and today we're gonna continue working on our TRX here. As you guys seen in the previous video, we finally started piecing this thing together. Got our massive wheels and tires on this thing. This thing is sitting just right. It's gonna need a leveling kit. We may do that today, who knows? And we are gonna run to a dealership a little bit later on to pick up some more parts for this thing, because our main thing is to get this thing ripping. We don't care about the bed. We want this thing driving. We'll probably hit the road. It's gonna be epic. Epic. But before we do any of that, we did mention the other day that we're going to be hiring some people to finish up our commercial building over there. And dude, they actually came out last night and started going ham, dude. Dude, it was afternoon. The sun was going down. They all popped on uh, headlamps, headlamps and they went ham, dude. dude. Th they got what, like a wall knocked out, which is just crazy. It's mind blowing. They are all going to need one of these hats by the end of the day, dude. dude where'd you get that hat? I <laughs> dude, need I one too. I picked it up at the local tractor supply right here. I seen that. And it makes me want to get to work now, dude. Dude, I'm telling you, those are awesome right there. There, but I, I did go out there last night and I actually helped him out a little bit. Yeah, you got man, some footage of them putting up that whole wall. And that's exactly what we're going to get started with. We're going to head back out there, see how much progress they got done, and also if they need any supplies. And I believe we do have to go pick up our garage doors for our building as well today. So we got the 450 ready to go with the trailer. And I think they're going to install them too, dude, which is just some awesome news. Dude, dude. that is crazy. They said they're going to have this sucker done by Sunday, which that's in and two more days. I, and I believe that 100%, dude. They might even be done tomorrow who knows but anyways that's exactly what we're gonna get started with we're gonna run over there show you guys the footage from last night and roll it over to this morning Alrighty guys, so we are finally back at the original Goon Squad garage after running to the new Goon Squad garage location and also picking up our brand new garage doors right here. But at the new Goon Squad garage, oh my goodness, the progress is just amazing. Last night they knocked out the back wall and this morning they knocked out the front wall. I bet they already got another wall knocked out by now, dude. dude. Easily, dude. They got what, like six people there, so they are moving right along. I mean, they know what they're doing, dude. dude. They know exactly what they're doing. They do a bunch of this commercial stuff. They do barn dominiums. They do uh, even Dollar Generals. He, I was talking to the supervisor there and he actually said, we did a dang good job, dude. We did an amazing job on the skeleton, which we saved around 40 grand. We didn't save 50 like we wanted to, but you know what? At this stage, dude. I'm happy with paying those guys 10 grand to finish that Yes, sir, up, and they are moving right along because it's getting cold, man. It's it time is. to be working in that big shop and the insulation is going up right at it. Dude, I mean, we're ready to move on to like electrical here soon, dude. Exactly, into onto the next part of this process, but dude, I couldn't imagine it being any more perfect timing than those guys just coming out of nowhere because they were just passing through. He seen the building and he stopped by pops out there and he just exchanged contacts and we made a deal and dude they started that same day dude, dude that is crazy That's dude insane, if, dude. whenever he was said sunday I, I laughed because i didn't know like you told me like they're gonna finish sunday i didn't think it was possible but now it's possible hey dude. when you got the right crew and the you know the right skills because that's what they do for a living right there dude anything is possible yes, right sir. There. i haven't heard one complaint out of those guys honestly man dude, i'm serious they're using B uh, big bertha over there like it ain't nothing which is awesome dude, dude that's amazing super happy with how they are moving over there but anyways here's our garage doors right here we picked up both of them and those folks over there are going to install these garage doors as well which is not what we typically would do we'd allow the garage door company to do it but yeah. you know what saved us money on this ticket as well dude saving money left, left and right dude and right dude <laughs> but we got all the stuff we got the springs these are some heavy duty doors they're fully insulated and all that good stuff and i think he'll get to that tomorrow so we'll just keep the trailer here we already disconnected it and what we're going to do right now is run to the trx dealership 
or the Cadillac dealership. What Dude, do you say? I say we go get the Dodge parts. Main thing is we need the caliper because we want that to bleed the brakes and get that truck at least moving properly. Yeah, that's right. I say we go ahead and just focus on that because I don't think we'll have enough room for all those parts yeah. from both dealerships. <laughs> so let's just go ahead, head that way, pick up those parts and do some stuff to this TRX. Dude. Oh my goodness. We finally got that carbon fiber hood completely outfitted and on there, dude. Dude, you got that right. So we ran to the dealership, got a few parts. The rear caliper, we got it, a brand new one, but there's still another section to it that we completely forgot to order. And it comes with special bolts. So we're gonna go ahead and just order that. No big deal. We went ahead and throw the wheel back on and we reassembled this whole entire front end, dude. Yeah, we also ran to the junkyard and we couldn't find yeah. no new trucks out no there. No new dude. trucks. We just need 2018 and up, but I think he only had like 2015s and 16s, which no big deal. We'll wait on that but the front end is finally looking right with the hood the grill the headlight this trim piece right here just looks super good dude. dude from this angle right here it just looks so aggressive so thick and so wide so stance all that dude. dude all we need to do is just level it up and i think it's gonna have the perfect look and we did have word that in a couple more days we're gonna have our front bumper and the bed pieces that we've been waiting on forever so as soon as that stuff comes in dude i'm excited i'm actually ready to re like redo that whole bed yeah dude. it's definitely gonna be a tough one but i'm so excited for that as yep. well because that's basically all we got lacking for this truck we did get the wider bedside right yep the wider new bedside we got to return that narrow one for a regular 1500 but you know what we get we are just getting some awesome progress done on this truck yes, here sir. go ahead and hit those three lights right there let me see what, let me see what it looks like it looks right so here. sick with those lights right there let's see it yes sir dude i love the little white strips right there dude. and then the three lights in the front right there kind of like the t like the raptor I about yeah like hours. the raptor and also the bumper i believe has like some led lights in it as well which that's just gonna set this whole entire thing off for sure dude, dude. that is pretty much it for this thing right here we're gonna set it aside probably tomorrow in the morning we might give it a wash because yeah. this this thing is super filthy yeah and this stuff is like not coming off so we want to get it off as soon as possible and just just clean the whole truck up because it looks just so good but right now we're gonna go ahead and actually run to the new headquarters over there new see garage. how much new garage and see how much progress they got done and then we'll catch you guys in the morning
Alrighty guys, so it is the next day here and I gotta say those boys out there just don't sleep. We were there last night, they were putting in work and we were there this morning and they actually got all the walls finished up and they're starting on the roof right now, which is just absolutely epic because I believe they're going to a different job seven hours away tomorrow, dude. That is right, so they got no Surely. choice but to finish that sucker up and I am super grateful for how fast those boys are moving, dude. dude. Absolute like beasts out there just putting in hard work and we were talking about the garage door with our contractor and that supervisor out there and I believe it's going to be the best option to actually let the garage door company put it up later on that way they can just focus on that building finish it up and we'll get that door on later you know that is right but we'll give you guys an update on the building here in a couple hours they'll probably be done with it, it by the time i then. guarantee it. he was dude. saying like three o'clock so that's in a couple of hours dude here, that dude. would be epic and we came back to the garage over here and cleaned Ooh. up the entire trx on the exterior got all that dirty stuff off the paint this thing is practically brand new once again and looking good dude the carbon looks good with everything on there well, we're talking about possibly Possibly doing something pretty epic with uh, the hood like what if we painted these halves of the hood on both sides or painted these vents white dude that look pretty good dude that would look insane right there but that would be a good bit of work maybe it'll look good with this front bumper on here and the whole flow would just go properly I like all dude. carbon dude it looks super sick gives it that unique look you know stands out from the rest of the TRX's you know <laughs> you got that right but definitely let us know what you guys think because we will have to do a little bit more paint work especially once we get the bed in yeah, and all we'll that paint stuff everything up and stuff like that maybe what what if we just deleted the black and went all white, dude? I don't know. I actually <laughs> like that two-tone. It kind yeah, of flows, definitely dude. Definitely flows. But anyways, right now what we're going to do is focus on the interior of this thing because we kind of want to do our, our first test drive. And what we want to do is go ahead and possibly go ahead and throw in our brand new steering column that we picked up the other day and then put everything back together over there, the airbag, everything else, clean it up. And then I think it'll be ready to hit the road, dude. <laughs> guys so we just came back from our very first test drive after throwing in the brand new steering column and then completely putting everything back together and giving this interior a quick detail and it looks back to brand new exactly how we got it right here looks super good especially in the front man look at that man we wiped that screen down all the carbon fiber the seats center console steering wheel with the airbag it's on point dude that is complete the whole interior is back it's 100 percent the whole cab of this truck is basically 100 percent other you know than the front bumper and the rear bed which we're looking forward to those parts coming in here really soon but this thing is just like a floater on the road dude, dude. it's super smooth the power input is just like right there where you want it way better than the raptor i gotta say man the power input is like on point the raptor you kind of have to wait for those turbos to kind of build up you know yep, what i mean you do definitely have that turbo lag but on this you got that supercharger that low end torque dude. right there and that high end power as well and the shifts are just on point dude. super smooth on the raptor those shifts are a little bit rough yeah dude. they're a little bit like hardcore they just like switch 
super hard, but this one's a little bit smoother, kind of like what the Hellcat um, is known for, the Hellcat engine with the transmission. Super nice truck, definitely kind of all over the road, needs alignment and stuff like that, and that leveling kit, because it still kind of rubs whenever you're taking just 90 degree turns. So that's all in the works, but right now we're probably gonna run to the shop right now, the new shop that we're going on right now, and uh, I think they're not done just yet. I think they're a little bit behind, but they're going hard right now, yeah, dude. Yeah, they, they are just moving right along, and Pops has been out there. I've been FaceTiming him left and right. So I say we just go ahead and head out there, show you guys what's going on, and uh, go from there. Alrighty guys, so we are here at the new Goon Squad Garage, and I gotta say, man, they are moving right along, but it does look like that roof is kind of slowing them down, yes, huh? Yes, sir. I mean, that was the hardest part, and I mean, they went just, I think, three more sheets ahead of us so far, but you know what? Uh, I mean, they're moving pretty quick with six people. They are moving pretty dang quick, and also, they were working on the inside there. You know that little wall right there? I didn't even know that was gonna be part of this package here, but we got a nice little wall that makes everything nice and clean. It's gonna make for a beautiful Lamborghini and Ferrari and all White sorts of White car pictures, shots. dude. I yeah. know, the whole interior here is like completely white which just looks really good it's gonna re reflect light good and all that stuff it is, yeah and we're gonna throw a bunch of leds so right now we are brainstorming with the next part of this process so this is crazy how they were able to throw this up within a couple of days right here because honestly i was thinking it was gonna be till like next year till we were gonna get this up that's what done, i was saying i was like dude this is a lot of work but you know what i'm so glad these guys came around and they they were up for the job and they really proved themselves that dude. is right so let's just go ahead and walk over here on the inside right quick and kind of give you guys a few more brainstorming ideas so right here, I'm envisioning it right now. Big old just parking lot, burnout pad right there, just straight up. There's plenty of room to do donuts and drifts right there. What dude, say, plenty, dude? man. That's like a big old parking lot. So we're going to pour as much as we possibly can. That way we can use it up, man. We'll probably do pavement instead of concrete. Whatever is easier to drift on. Yeah. <laughs> but also we'll have to build a nice fence, probably like a 10-foot privacy fence or something like that along that end right there. Along the front, I don't know what we're going to do just yet. But as for the interior here, I can see a couple lifts. So office right there, dude. It's just gonna it's just gonna be crazy once we start putting stuff in here. And uh, what else are you thinking? Here? I mean, big old fan. Big old big fan. Old like fan. We, we were thinking about HVAC. We did mention we wanted to do that, but honestly, with insulation, you really don't run don't need to. That is that is really true. I think this insulation on the big old garage area here, where we're gonna be working on cars, should be plenty to keep it cool in the in the summertime and hot in the winter time. Yeah, so. we'll just do like a big old fan in the summertime. Probably install like a huge yep. fan up top and probably just like a nice heat for the winter time because it will hold heat in really well i think so too but we'll just see once we get there but as far as the office goes it's going to be a really nice office we're going to do like glass up front. i think we were doing storefront yeah storefront's going to be that way right there maybe some glass right there and an entry door and all that good stuff those garage doors are massive dude i know dude those things are huge man semi trucks can pull in dude that's perfect right there maybe <laughs> we'll restore pop semi truck out here but dude i'm just super happy to be out here because this is going to be a game changer for us i mean we're going to be super productive hopefully have maybe a frame machine maybe a paint booth i think what do you think about yeah 100 percent. i mean we want everything that way we can do everything in-house right here dude everything not having to travel like uh, trailer stuff all over the maybe place do the tire machines and stuff like tire that machines, dude. maybe even an alignment machine that would be insane i don't know if we'll get that <laughs> far but you know what looks like we got plenty of room imagine just having all the cars stored right here uh, I dude. think that'd be epic. Dude. Yes, sir. Dude. But that's all going to be probably here in the near future. I think that's going to be all for today's video. I wish we could do a little bit more, but you know what? Feeling a little bit under the weather myself. Dude. Yeah, man. We can hear it in your voice <laughs> really, just a little really bit. Hear it? Just a little bit. <laughs> but you know what? Main thing is, I kept going right there. Yes, you know sir. I mean? and you kept going. We always do. We never give up, and that's the main thing. We kind of gave up on this building, but you know what? We made it far, dude. We This is our first time attempting something like this, and I got to say, the, hearing it from these guys saying we did a good job, I'm proud of that. But that's going to be all for today's video, guys. Definitely be sure to give us a follow on Instagram if you want an inside scoop before YouTube. But with all that being said, thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Be sure to drop your comments and thoughts down below. We'll catch you guys next time.